This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We are selling this truck. It's a 2004 Ford F-250 Super Cab. That's a four-door extra cab. It's long bed, obviously. It's two-wheel drive. It's a 5.4 liter gas V8. Um, and it's an XLT, which is cloth, windows, locks, tilt, AC, automatic. Um, this truck has 140,464 miles. Um, it was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in uh, uh, California, Hayward, California. It was a AAA insurance vehicle. Um, they are selling it. Uh, they sold it to us on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Um, it's exactly how we bought it, what you're looking at. Basically, the insurance companies don't want any liability. Uh, in the future so they divorce the truck by giving it a salvage title that way whoever we sell it to can't go back in time and sue the insurance companies that have more money than we'll than, than, than we do okay um anyway uh when we get to the driving part of this video i'll tell you how we uh fix the salvage title get a restored salvage title make it so that we can issue you plates and you can get insurance okay it's very simple um anyway we brought it to tucson uh, we did our inspection. Uh, it needed a uh, new cluster fuse. Uh, the uh, instrument cluster wasn't wasn't on, uh, so it needed a new fuse, and it needed a shifter, new uh, shifter with an overdrive button. Um, the radiator had a huge crack on top of it, like somebody laid a battery on top of it and broke it, which happens all the time. Don't put your batteries on top of the radiator, okay? All the time. Uh, while we were there, we did new radiator hoses. Uh, we did a transmission flush with 16 quarts of synthetic transmission fluid. We did a brake fluid flush with new brake fluid. Uh, we gave it a new battery. Uh, we did wiper blades and a license plate bulb. Um, the thieves broke the ignition and the door cylinder, so we replaced the ignition and the door lock cylinder and matched it with keys. Um, detail, they stole the catalytic converter, which is very common, so we replaced that. Uh, and we detailed it. Uh, I picked it up from our shop and it, about halfway home it decided to flash an airbag light. So I brought it back to our shop and they scanned it and it was the sensor in the passenger seatbelt clip. Uh, some of them have uh, uh, plugs to them that hook up to the, uh, to the airbag sensors and this one was bad. So I've got one ordered. It's July 19th on Monday. It's due in at Holmes Tuttle Ford on uh, Wednesday, July 21st. So that'll get handled. But that's what it's on for, okay? Um, that's what the code is. Um, right now we're having our first day where it might not rain today. It's about two in the afternoon. So I'm gonna do a video before uh, I have to eat my words and it's pouring rain. It's super humid and hot. But I think maybe today is the day to get some videos done and avoid the rain. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. Although, the minute I say it won't rain, Mexico's that way, it'll start pouring. Anyway, uh, um, I'm going to walk around this truck, and I'm going to be looking for things that are wrong. Okay? Uh, my job in these videos is not to tell you how great something is. It's really to show you what's wrong. And somebody out of the 800 to 1,000 people a day who will see this truck online will be fine with whatever's wrong with it. What we can't do is have somebody uh, be uninformed or not have enough information and buy this truck and uh, be pissed. So we're not doing that. There's plenty of people who will be just fine with whatever this truck has that's right and whatever this truck has that's wrong. Um, it's leaving stuff out that has problems. So we encourage you to go through the photos and, and zoom in on the photos. If cosmetic matter, it's actually a really good looking truck. For a work truck, it's a great looking work truck. Um, but we encourage you to uh, go through the photo gallery, go over the video very closely. Um, I'll drive it in a second. We'll be able to go into the hood in a second with it running. Uh, we'll do everything we could possibly do to give you more information, okay? Um, I will also be showing you the Carfax, um, invoices from Monsoon, our shop, that uh, will give you more information, all right? Uh, the more information we can give you, the better, okay? $140,506 is the mileage right now, okay? See how it's blinking? It'll blink and then it'll go solid eventually. That is passenger seatbelt clip, female clip. 
I was hoping they would have one in stock, but they didn't. So, might as well just do the video and tell you. All right. Anyway, there's a Ford stamp on this fender, so you know this is original. Ford stamp on the core support. If you're looking for these stamps that tells you all the parts are original, they haven't been replaced. And you replace these parts for obvious reasons. There's a Ford stamp on the fender. Should be another one right there, and there is. All right, the new battery. There you go, there's your 5.4. Air conditioning's blowing ice cold, which I can attest to because I just drove it across town and it was fantastic. Door locks. Okay, let's do some uh, invoices. Now these will be linked to in the ad, so you can look at the, them in the ad. But uh, let's see, on 7.7, uh, license plate bulb, wiper blades, battery, uh, radiator assembly, okay, um, hoses, brake fluid flush, air filter, automatic transmission fluid flush, it's been $848 um, on that, okay, and then this was CNS Locksmiths, it's been $214 on that, getting the ignition and the door cylinder, Leon's exhaust, did a 3 inch catalytic converter, okay, and here's the Carfax. There's your bin. Branded title, uh, that's due to theft. One owner, which is uh, kind of obvious. Someone took really good care of this truck. Uh, was born in Sunnyvale, which is Northern California. Um, at some point, it, got, it says minor damage. Uh, Something 615 of 2009, rear end. I don't see anything, so they probably put a new bumper on it, but it does say minor, right? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's see, I guess maybe there's something here too. That's the 12, 12, front, rear. It says another minor. Looks like this guy liked to bump into stuff and call the insurance company. Um, a minor. I mean, yeah, I, I would say that. Uh, Based on the condition, this is probably an old guy and he bumped into stuff and wanted checks. Um, 5 8 of 21, it was stolen. And insurance paid due to theft. Uh, vandalism report, which is the locks. On, uh, let's see, what day is that? 5 8 of 21. Okay? So there's all your uh, paperwork that you're needing. We're waiting on this seatbelt. Okay? Really good condition. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see any evidence of paint work at all. Normal Ford chipping paint. I don't see anything. So I would say he liked to tap into things and probably get new bumpers. That's what I'm guessing. I mean, I don't even see any overspray anywhere on this truck. Nothing. Huh. All right. Window. Window. Door locks. There's your bin. Mirror out, in, up, and down. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Got a manual seat on this side. Look at the. He was also not heavy. Heavy guys break this down really fast. So he was probably a little guy too, which helps keep the seat in one piece. There's your tilt wheel, right? Make sure there's no nothing going on under there. And there's not. Air conditioning, thank the Lord, it is freaking humid and hot. I'm not sure what the temp is right now. It's probably about 100, and you know what? In, in the last 10 minutes of this video, look at the clouds now. They're already getting bigger. And then you look to the west towards California, which is there, the mountain, they're building over there. But when they build to Mexico that way, that's when you got a problem. Anyway, enough of our weather story, right? Uh, let's see, radio. Obviously the radio works, you got a CD player, factory CD player there, 
Air is blowing ice cold. Fan. I'm gonna put it here so you can hear me a little bit better. But the air's blowing ice cold. Um, let's see what else. That's a brand new shifter arm right there. So you got boom and there's off and there's on, right? All right, let's see what else. Let's see, we got cruise control. You can only do that when you're moving in a Ford. All right, windshield wipers. Let's see, drive. And reverse. Boom. All right. There's reverse. Now it's going to ride. All right. If you come to Tucson to drive this home, you'll have to get, we'll have to be able to issue plates and you have to get insurance, obviously. We cannot do that on a salvage title. To get, uh, to get insurance and to get plates, we have to take it to the cops here in Tucson, the real cops. Gun carrying, license carrying, gun carrying, badge carrying, wearing cops. They do what's called a level three inspection. Once we get that level three inspection done, we take the current salvage title and that inspection to Arizona Motor Vehicles. And they give us what's called a restored salvage title. It'll actually say restored salvage title on it. At that point, you can get insurance and we can issue plates. Until then, you can't. So obviously that has to happen before you come here to drive it home. Um, that is $250 for us to do before you get here. I'm sorry, $200 to do before you get here, okay? Um, if you uh, if you do come here, you're, you're gonna also pay tax and dock fee. Tax is your state tax rate, whatever that is, could be zero, could be eight, could be 10, whatever it is. Whatever your state tax rate is, plus our city of 2.7%, $250 dock fee and 200 to restore the title, okay? Now, if you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Uh, Unless you want us uh, to restore the title before it ships out. Uh, if you do, let us know at the time of the uh, transaction and we'll add $200 to it and I'll get it done, okay? Um, deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your uh, your uh, deposit in, okay? Um, the, this truck will be very popular. We're not trying to make a pound of money. People will be all over this because of the price and because of the condition. Um, the title, in my opinion, just helps you buy a truck a lot cheaper than you should, okay? Um, let's see, last part of every video, I say the same, oh, by the way, as far as like, if you're gonna ship out of state, if you need help with shipping, let me know, and I can help you, I can do it for you. We could roll that into the price of the vehicle, so you just pay once. Um, we can give you phone numbers, you can do it yourself, or you're welcome to do it yourself, okay? Um, Anyway, to the very end of the video, I say the same thing that I have for 12 years, and I would love to have it recorded. I just hit the button right now. We don't have salesmen, so you're not paying them for commissions on salesmen. You don't have those annoying guys running around harassing you. Um, we don't have a fancy location. You saw where we came from, razor wire, night vision cameras, um, you know, uh, and it's just me and my brother, and that's how we roll. That keeps the price down. The auto mall has hundreds of employees at every location. Um, they pay a fortune for their rent. I, we pay basically the property taxes. Our family owns that property. And so we pay about 3,500 a year, which is about $300 a month in property taxes. And that's it, all right? So you're not paying for our location. You're not paying for people to serve scones and lattes and, and, and uh, in the lounge with the game room and everything. You're not paying for any of that crap. Um, not paying for salesman's commissions. So. Because you're not paying for that, we can lower the price quite a bit, all right, and make you the owner on day one. What does that mean? Well, the other thing they do at the auto mall is because they're out, they're actually crushing you. Uh, uh, they add five to seven hundred dollars every time they sell a used vehicle at their property for future repairs because they know you're going to come in, you know, with the window not working or an injector misfiring or the AC not working or something and want it fixed, which you're entitled to when you pay that much money for a vehicle. Well, you're not paying anywhere close to that for this truck, A, because we don't have all those costs, and B, because of the title. So you're saving a pound of money buying from us, you're getting the straight scoop on what was right and what was wrong, and in return, the only thing we're asking you to be is the owner on day one. That means that on day one, you will be fixing your truck, okay? Your truck is your truck on day one. If that's a problem, then we ain't got a truck for you. Um, we just sent every vehicle we had 
well, not just, about 45 days ago, we sent every every one of our vehicles to the auction and almost sold everything in one day one. So we're kind of building our inventory again. Why did we do that? Because retail buyers weren't very smart at the time and didn't take advantage of our low prices. And the dealers were paying more and it's a lot easier to get one check from the auction than it is to get 40 something checks from 40 different people, okay? Well, our inventory right now is spectacular. It's kind of small, it's only like 20 right now. We're on our way back to 60 or 70 at some point. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you want a vehicle and you want it affordable, this is how you do it. You get a place that's not no frills, that doesn't screw around, that, you know, doesn't need to make as much money as they need to make. And they have these trucks, right? Um, right now, work trucks are actually the, pretty much the most affordable thing out there for us but they take a while to sell. We know that, so we're gonna probably be sitting on these big work trucks for a while. But the gas trucks like this one and that one won't be here long, okay? Because we're not trying to make pounds of money. Anyway, that's enough of my speech, all right? A very nice running truck. Um, we've got that seatbelt clip ordered to deal with that, okay? And that's it. Thank you for your time.